Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today it is Sunday, the 16th of April. It's a lovely sunny day and we've been putting the cattle down here at the broads so I've come out to check them. We're using the gator and it's still a bit wet down here so you've got to watch where you're going. But we are making some progress and they will dry up before long. We've got the sheep over there we've got to go and check. And then there's the stores and there's also the cows and calves as well, which I've got to go and check as well. I topped all this off last year and I was just looking what a lovely, what a good job it's done. Because um, last year this had all gone to seed, but now it's come back with some fresh grass. So if all goes well, we can chuck some cattle or sheep on here before long, this piece. But um, yeah, it was quite a mess here before. These are the bits I mean, you've got to be careful of, you don't get stuck in. said last year we're going to sell it but we, we haven't got the Kawasaki yet we still put that mule on order and it hasn't turned up so I think what I might do is buy a small trailer to go behind the Defender and I'll take the quad bike down there to check the cows um, because it has got a few mechanical issues and electrical issues at the moment the Gator so anyway we're going to go and feed some cows now I'm just going to give some to these little monkeys the calves shake a bit out in their ring farm work today and I've just come out the this little tractor's turned up it's a John Deere 6430 to plant the sugar beet it's got a, a sugar beet drill on it with section control and it's also got jewels as well so quite a nice tractor for drilling sugar beet because it's light and a nice size Unfortunately, I left the tanker a couple of weeks ago and I let someone weld this patch on it on the farm and the one bit I didn't weld, what what a shoddy job. Some, <laughs> I won't say who they are, they know who they are, but um, we'll have this in the workshop tomorrow and re-weld all of this much, much better than this and then it will be sealed. But yeah, not some of the best welding I've ever seen, but anyway... It is what it is. Found another leak as well. It's tiny, tiny little leak, but it's the only other one I could find. It's where a, a weld joins. So that'll have to be welded up tomorrow. Other than that, we're nearly there. Once it's all repaired, it'll hold about five metric tons of water, or 5,000 liters of water. And I've started uh, spring clean, moving all the straw out of the way because we're gonna weld some brackets on there for our little fattening enterprise. There's some cattle in the shed, just waiting for them to calve still at the moment. They just still haven't had their calves. Still got eight left, so I have to wait and see what happens. I could do with taking this out, really. I've got a new knife to put on it because we had a problem with it last year, the Tanko. There's a little hydraulic ram. When this closes, it, was, it wasn't closing fast enough and it was not catching the, the film. So I'll, I'll ring up Tanko and see if they can um, help me set, up, set it up on the controls and the settings because I'll have to get this out before long. Um, other than that, it has been fantastic wrapper. I know on the, on the McHales, they've got like an arm which comes down and then it catches the cling film, um, which, which does look quite good. Um, so yeah, I have, to, I have to ring up Tanko, see what they say, and we'll have this out before long. So as well, it's been in here all, all winter, so it's the weed wiper which I use for the weeds. Try and get on top of all the thistles and nettles. It'll make a big difference this year because I've already killed a lot of them from last year. So Coming towards the end of the day now, there's a rabbit over there. I've just had a look, I'm walking the barley, the spring barley. There's a little rabbit over there. I'm going to start dealing with them with a, 
a night vision system which I'm going to put onto my rifle and see if I can pop a few of them off at night because they are lamp shy. So anyway, I'm just walking this barley at the top. We've got a little high seat which we can start to shoot the deer off as well. I think the tractor is a bit too big for those rollers because, or either that or I need to change my tyres because it's difficult to pick it up on camera, but it has made quite an imprint where the 6R's been. And I, I, looking at that smaller tractor today, that 6430 on the sugar beet drill, I think that would be a much more suitable tractor, something like that 100 horsepower for our small rollers. And also for the rollers, which we use for the horse um, gallops and arena all over there. But I'm still fixing the 65 at the moment. But that is one issue I do have is it does compact the land a bit, that tractor, especially when you've got it on the rollers. It's all right if you're doing cultivating, but um, yeah, on the rollers, you just want like a small tractor or maybe some sort of tires which like some wider tires flotations or something like that just by the barley field i've been um busy today i forgot that the potatoes were going in so before long the potatoes will be uh, planted i think they're um main crop potatoes but i could be wrong sometimes it's main crop sometimes it's early's but um we'll see got a load of jack of potatoes last time which was quite handy from the potato company so i'm hoping that uh, it all goes well for them and they have a good uh, good yield i assume this bit up here is for the irrigation and you see now they've ridged it then they'll like pick all the stones out and then um plant it with with the potatoes with the planter so see how it goes so hector out my phone for what this piece here will be where we put in the fodder beet Early, earlier on you saw that little john deere planting the sugar beet this will be its next job but i think the 8rx will go around this with the fine seed bed rolex vadisad rolex and uh, they'll hopefully make a nice job for the fodder beet very difficult to plant fodder beet seed it's a bit different to the sugar beet seed because it's funny size of seed on the fodder beet so we'll have to see how it goes yeah i'm hoping that it'll, it'll work out quite well this has all been sumo trioed and this is quite important because it's the cattle's food so we've got to make sure that we do a good job of this and once it gets in the ground the, sh the sh fodder beet once it starts growing it'll get a good tap root and it should be able to survive the drought so we'll see how it goes and we'll hopefully get a good yield off there in order to feed the cows for 2024 so yeah looking forward to it i'm going to walk back to the farmyard now go and give clover a dinner look at the rest of this barley they've just sprayed a i think a herbicide on it now so it's looking quite a lot cleaner Let's have a look here hardly any weeds just my compaction from the from the 6155r it's a bit too heavy on the rollers but there we go all right catch you on the next one click here to subscribe to the channel and click here to watch another ollie's farm video mm.